One of UK conservatism's greatest philosophers was Edmund Burke. He posited that human nature was imperfect and not rational, like classical liberals suggested. But it's clear to all that some are less imperfect than others. Classical liberals like to say everyone is equal, but any simpleton can see that's clearly wrong. Some people have higher IQs, they're more athletic, or they're braver. Edmund Burke knew that in even the smallest communities, a hierarchy formed. The more capable and wealthy individuals looked up to by the rest, and so had power. And Burke said that this power gave the leaders responsibility to take care of those worse off in a philanthropic way. He didn't endorse progressive taxation. The duty of this philanthropy to the lower sections of society was linked to another principle of conservatism, organicism. All sections of the kingdom had a symbiotic relationship, much like how bumblebees pollinate flowers. Another analogy would be a father and his children. Now, aggressively modernising progressives and socialists, starting from the French Revolution and later communism, would try to destroy this mutually beneficial hierarchy by overthrowing those at the top violently. They did this because they sought to create a utopia where everyone was equal. It was always a pipe dream, as it ignored how hierarchy is natural and millions died from Cambodia to Cuba for nothing. Sudden radical calls to overthrow the elite are not conservative. And a good deal of American so-called conservatives, like Trump, are a disgrace to the brand. Conservatism, overall, seeks to keep the best parts of the past by adapting to the future.